Welcome back everyone, thank you for joining me. We have the Human Garbage Village, Civilian Power Plant, High Tech Human City, Simple Military Outpost, Creepy Technology Center, and the Military Weapon Facility. Do you have any evolutions from last time? It's been, uh, it's been about a day since. Oh no, I already picked everything. Okay, that's grand. Happy enough. What's first? What's first? What is first? I can't guess the Human Garbage Village is first. Let's go get them. Uh, oh, I got boom slugs. Oh. 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 It's the commandos. They fire really fast. They are going to be such a pain. But the good news is we, we will be the ones unleashing them. So that'll be a good point. Gonna get as much economy going as I can. And we need to be very careful. We don't want to release them too late on, because then there'll be even more to deal with. But we want to deal with one side first and then the next one. So gonna have to launch our attacks from this side and take them out relatively quickly. This side seems to be spawning tanks as well. Uh gotta keep that in mind. Oh, oh, the builders are Builders are builders be building by the looks of it. Uh, I want to hive there as well. Oh, looks like these will all be destroyed if they're built. Oh, except these. We can build them a wee bit more on the forward side. Okay, now builders are just going to absolutely start. Pouring out of the place. Um, what I will do is I will actually get another two hives built over over here. Right, very good reason for this. The reason for building these hives is I will need them to fight into these guys. Now, what I'll do is I will get this built, get a good bit of eco going, get the economy all up the back. And then disable these two spawners, moving in to destroy these ones. Okay, let's just let the builders wander and uh, make sure they are definitely spreading that good old nutrient goo. Okay. So, with all that... Can they hit these? No, they can't. It's a good defensive position, isn't it? Okay, now it's time to stop spawning. Start getting everyone out. Gonna group them all up here. We're gonna get a massive, beefy amount of troops going. And, oh, we've hit capacity. Right, let's go. Get them! Build a forward hive. Build some of these. Spore launchers. Yes. That'll push them back for sure. Is this impossible difficulty or is this just too easy? Gotta keep the eco game going strong as well. Destroyed the command center already. Things you absolutely love to see. The humans have been completely routed in the left side. And we will be taking absolutely everything from them. Boom slugs be exploding. There's not much left. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. They're done for. There's nothing they can do about it. Except watch as the buggos destroy everything. Last flamer of marines in the corner. And now it is on. To the next city. Running around the corner if one of these boom slugs even gets remotely close, then boom! They're all dead. Two boom slugs. What another boom slug? See how close they're getting? That's really, really good. Right in there. They are taking them out relatively quickly, but look, they've already lost the bulk of their forces. The wall has been breached. The command center is in sight. It's all over for the humans. It is game over. Game. Or getting them away. 
Game over. Game over. Let's go. Come on. Come on, buggoos. Impossible difficulty. What? I think one levels give us a bit of bother. Not to be net. There we go. 2,000 casualties. 4 minutes and 44 seconds. One evolutionary point. Where will we spend it? Actually, get that swarm capacity up. That was what we were missing there. And uh, it seems the high tech human city is up next. Okay. We are going to concentrate on builders, predominantly. Get a nice wee bit of, nice wee bit of economy going. Plenty of nutrient pustules. What is going on over here? Just a few humans. Massive city. City's got several layers to it, and we sent our bet we could punch straight through. So that's worth noting. Two spawners here and a spawner here. Two spawn oh, four spawners in total. Uh, good news is they can't be overly aggressive to us because we are just simply nowhere near them. I think a second high would be good to get up and running. Come on. Get to work. Good job. Eh, you'd think it's overkill, but to be honest, I've run out of uh, of nutrients more times than I can count. And with these levels, it's always good to just build up everything and... Uh, yeah, well, once everything's built up, we can just run at them. You know what they're going to do when we run at them? Absolutely nothing. There's nothing these humans can do. They're, in fact, these guys, these two marines are just like, Have you seen what's happening outside the city gate? So are you, you, you seeing what's happening here? Because that ain't good. <laughs> and soon we're going to come and we're going to eat your faces. Bit of a perfectionist. Love them to just uh, just nutrient go everywhere. And uh, bam, bam, bam. Start a spawning some troopas. Maybe they'll actually just finish that. Two of these. I want some forward uh, spore launchers. Just gonna push down straight south. We are going to unleash the horde a wee bit. Gonna cancel the builders from these two. And resume building of everyone. And now, more trips than I can count. We'll be pushing right into My intentions are take out this first section, follow it up with the second one. We might push through the middle and encircle them, to which at that stage there ain't all that much. That tank definitely has. Can tanks not shoot through walls? No, that one just was refusing. He was he was Attack range 8.5. Yeah, he's just he's he's just a tank. Ah! Okay. Do you know what? Surprise, surprise. We're just gonna push through the side then if you're gonna if y'all are gonna be like that. I'll leave some spore launchers to keep you at bay. Oh! Four wee turrets! That's cute! Okay, well the flamers are less cute. But Turrets are down, buggos have died. To be honest, them killing the buggos was probably the worst. <laughs> the brim slug took out both flamers. Fantastic. Job of done. We've pushed through that side. Time to keep going. Don't even have the upgrades for goo. It doesn't matter, folks. It does not matter. The boom slugs. The command center's gone. It's gone, lad. 
Ah, oh, it's beautiful to see. B A beautiful. Not make me cup of tea on a Friday afternoon. Well, it's Friday for me anyway. Got a wee half day from work. Hey ye. Okay, now that that's a bit annoying. But I'll tell you what, I've got two forward hives. And we'll make the situation less annoying. Stop the spawn on this. One, take out these two remaining spawners. There's none left, and then we'll be able to just go straight through. Look at our economy, our backbone generating near 13,000 nutrients. Ugh. Things you just love to see. Right, surrender this last command center to me. Dead. Commandos are trying to valiantly hold the line against us. But it mattered not. Okay, the outer part of the city has succumbed. Their military posts have been abandoned and destroyed and devoured. We move north to their large human complexes. Turrets can't stop us. A lone commando stands valiantly. However, he cannot stop the swarm. And with that, lads, Aria conquered. Two evolutionary points. What are we going to go for? To be honest, swarm capacity is always a good shout. Although making the boom slugs more explosive -y. Oh, we could have made them move speed or thicker armor. Heck, see if they move speed, see if they can just get closer with that extra uh, distance to explode. <sighs> Game over for them. Creepy Technology Center, you are next to be tackled. Let's see. Oh, let's see if I can click that fast enough. Uh, close enough. Outer layer, okay. Have uh, we complex here? We outpost. We have another one up here. They will be able to come out from their two spawners. Human Tesla towers surround the the creepy technology center. They really, really don't want anyone getting in here with the amount of walls. Not going to make much of a difference, though, is it? Ooh, sorry. Come on, ya bugsy. Build. Okay, so they are going to send a force out to counter us. Uh, I'd say very soon. That's probably the first on the way. Nope, they are. They are retreating behind the back of their base. Can't say I blame them for the decision. At all. Let's send everyone this way. Oh, we have our first welcome wagon. We have a tank. Oh, he shot one of my little swarmers. Why, why you gotta be like that? You could have just patted him. To be fair, the swarmers seem like the size of... Oh, we can't let that commando get to our back lines, so I guess we gotta, gotta just fish north. Given we plus one attack. And we're going to turn our backs to them again. They will send continuous waves at us, but there is nothing that we cannot handle. We need to make sure that we fill our ranks as fast as possible. Oh. We have multiple tanks and a flamer in the front line. The flamer killing that buggo caused them all to explode. 
that wasn't a good time for them at all. You know what, we'll be very methodical about this. We will take out this wee back outpost. Once destroyed, we will have access to the front. And we'll be able... We will be the ones who knock. The wall is slowly falling. We are at the entrance. The ones that chose to go to the back, probably that was your best... Uh, that was probably one of the best moves you could have made. I do applaud you for that. My boom slugs, however, will not be so kind when they get so close. If you want to clear a group of people, you send in the boom slugs. Boom slugs take absolutely no prisoners. The only thing I would have would have said would have kept me going a bit faster would have been continually building uh, more economy around these. Oh. Okay, they may, they may, just may, be able to pull back. Pull this back a wee bit. Okay, we lost our forward base. That's, that's no problem. Listen. That is simply an opportunity. And I think with that we can go back. We're just building normal units. So just remember to really pump the economy in this one. You are going to need a, to field a not only a sizable army, you will need to be able to replenish them extremely fast. Because in possible difficulty, you're going to take severe casualties. And uh, yeah, as you can see, this is the product of such uh, slight economic mismanagement on my part. But it seems to have corrected itself. There we go. Plus one attack. And then we can go back to trying to get this forward base back up and running. I'm going to gather my forces, and then we're going to push back in. Oh, it's so... See if... Ah, oh, look at the damage! The damage from the boom slugs! Do you know what? See if we grip them all again, and we'll go for another wee attack wave, attacking them in a wavy motion. Is definitely the strategy. I'm going to disable spawning as I want these forward hives to be our primary source. Spawners are within sight. The creepy technology center has almost been entirely eradicated. One remaining Tesla tower to fall. It has been defeated. They are billions in this. Sure, similarities in the, in the sense of, you know, these are the humans and they are just getting absolutely rode over. One spawner falls. Any stragglers? Nope. Just... Just whoever is in this back bit.
There you have it. Game. Set. And match. Seven minutes. Not too bad. Well, we'll pick the next two. Huge spawn size by a hive. That would be very good, yeah. Though making the boom slugs thicker and making sure that they can run a bit further is probably another really, really good thing. Let's start nutrients or speed. Do you know what? The start nutrients might actually end up being a really good shout. But we'll see you all, or I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you.